Hello everyone, I- wait, wait. Hello everyone, I'm currently standing on SEC's campus, um, standing out in the rain, getting one, uh, wet, as one does when doing that. Um, today, I'm going to be exploring SEC's Stoner Hall, the East End Gallery. Yeah. More specifically, I'm going to be going looking at all these paintings, and I noticed that none of them really have the artist's names or even the names of the paintings labeled on them, so I'm going to take the liberty of examining each one and giving them their own custom Parker Vlogging established names, so let's do it. Dang, I'm wet. So starting off, we got this one. Um, I like to call it uh, going through the box of crayons and only having the green ones left over to work with. And then following up, this one actually has the artist's name on it. Um, by Shamira, say Shamira. I might be wrong. I'm more than likely wrong. This one I'm gonna call the closet that did not get cleaned out. No, this one was mom told me to clean out my room so I just stuffed everything in my closet. And this is the point of view from the closet. Okay, this is an easy one. I'm gonna call this one Feel Unlucky. This one I'm, I'm taking more creative liberties with. In the background, it looks like you got a bunch of balloons. And so I'm thinking it's a birthday party and all the lines there kind of speak for themselves. And for some reason we've got Shrek kind of hiding in the background. So I'm going to say um, the Shrek's bloody birthday disaster. Okay, this one I'm going to take a little more seriously because this one is really pretty. I'm going to um, uh, point of view, you are a survivor in the Dust Bowl. Ooh, I'm vibing with the colors on this one. Got a real rusty color. So of course, I think I'm just going to stick with the name Rust. Okay, this one, after some long thought, I decided to give it the name Bird. This one's real pretty. Um, I think I'm gonna call it what Sully from Monsters, Inc. looks like after being put through a meat grinder. Ooh, green, green. I really like the green. Um, kind of swampy, so I'm gonna call it... What are you doing in my swamp? So this one takes a little bit more darker approach with the gun there and the little actual writing in there talking about society. Um. I'm gonna call this one, We Live in a Society Black and White Edition. This one's really cute and vibrant, like it's almost like a big pile of candy. So of course that's what I'm gonna call it, sus. This one's a bit more different, looking a lot more geometrical. So I'm gonna call this one, My Minecraft World Hasn't Fully Rendered Yet. This one also takes on a geometrical approach here. I'm really liking the variance of colors in it. So I'm gonna call this one, my Minecraft world hasn't fully rendered yet, part two. And ooh, I really like this one. Like you can tell like the circular motion that was put in with mixing the colors here going. It's almost like a rainbow that's in fire. So I'm gonna call it like the rainbow fireball. Honestly, that's my favorite title for these ones yet. Honestly, this is probably my favorite so far. I like it. Once again, involving a lot of green, feeling that's what they have or had abundance of in the art department here. Um, this one though, I'm gonna call call it grassy lawn because that's kind of what it looks like going from like the grassy bit going into the dirt layer there so that might be what they're going for because i really see that okay i think i'm gonna really hit the nail on the head with this one um i think it's they threw a naked lady in prison for public indecency so naked lady and for some reason she's lactating rainbows but you know what that's just artistic representation there i reckon Ooh, I like how this one was done. A um, mix of geometrical and other distorting elements in there. I think this is done pencil, so the shading's really good. So I'm gonna call it, um, oh, ooh, this is a tougher one. Um, see, we got some circles, got some zigzags, little patterns there, and some, a lot of shading. I'm gonna call it an abstract dragon. Once again, another easy one to interpret here. Obviously, it's a bunch of police officers playing on a playground, and there's even a rainbow. So I'm gonna call it um, cops off duty because I'm sure some officers, when they're off duty, you know, they're just out here enjoying themselves, playing around, you know. And look, there's even a happy little rainbow. So who can play anyway? <laughs> yeah, like I'm not gonna dive into the deeper messages there because in this day and age. Yeah. And we got another sculpture here, just one of two here in the gallery. Um, got some rocks using some natural elements and then going more into geometrical. It looks like maybe some bed posting or chairs were used in this. So 
really getting creative and using um, what they had with this one. Um, I don't know exactly what it represents or what's supposed to be, but it kind of looks like a robot bunny. So I'm gonna call it Robo Bunny. And lastly, I don't know if you can see it well, but there's what looks like a bunch of pastel done scribbles. Um, I don't know, that I'm sure there's some deeper meaning into this. Maybe something with mental illness or depression, like, or schizophrenia, probably depression, representing a black void. So I'm gonna call this um, Scribble. There we go. So I just want to make a disclaimer, as satirical as I was during um, looking at all these, I genuinely believe the, these were well done and I'm sure they have a lot of deeper meaning to them and not to take away any seriousness of it because I appreciate art. I'm an artsy boy myself. And so yeah, if you want to check it out for yourself, I recommend and maybe show your support toward it at the college and be like, yo, get more art expanded. Who knows? Art is cool.